last time on Anthoria, uh, you all escaped the ice cave after fighting off a large mimic and a bunch of vamp bolds, uh, guarding a dryad in a tree of magic pears. Uh, having helped her out and uh, promising, well, not promising, but sharing your goal of uh, wanting to deal with the Ice Witch, otherwise known as Evil Amora, to the party. Um, she helped you out of the cave, uh, and you were able to go back to see the king with your new plan of bringing a whole bunch of prisoners who probably deserved to uh, be executed anyway uh, to be the sacrifices for uh, our friend Gregory, the Elder God. And, of course, to get the star vampire eggs out of yourselves. Um, but, uh... When, I don't think the party had an initial plan for how to accomplish this, but Tila kind of came to the rescue with that and uh, used a mind control spell on the king. So now the king uh, apparently loves all, all other races and uh, is more than happy to be best friends with the party. At least currently. <laughs> Um, and Amon's going along with it because uh, he's allowed to help as long as uh, you guys don't disclose anything to him that would uh, be putting the king in danger. So. Because <laughs> he has no idea what the actual plan is. <laughs> Just that you're messing with the king. <laughs> um, and with that, uh, you guys had all kind of spent the night here as the king was getting all the prisoner lists and talking with the executioner about who's going to be put on death row and how many prisoners they have because he seems very insistent about getting these uh, like 300 prisoners for you guys um, no one seems to really know why the king is so insistent on 300 prisoners but you know <laughs> he's the king he doesn't need to explain himself uh, and with that um, how would you guys like to proceed once you get the, uh, like, I'll let you guys talk about this yourselves a little bit, but, um, you're expecting a summons, uh, any time to go see the king with your bunch of prisoners and your royal escort to go back to the ice caves. <laughs> oh, okay. So, do we have an actual plan, or are we just crossing our fingers right now? <laughs> well... What's a plan? Uh, <laughs> Tila's the one who mind-controlled the king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He does believe he's best friends with the whole so party. So I just though. assume he's gonna... Just, they're just gonna do what we ask. <laughs> yeah, you would know the king is pretty much easily bent right now. With the... As long as you don't, obviously, you know, give him a command that would cause him self-harm or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure that those don't work with spells. <laughs> but, um... That's the plan as it is in motion at the moment. Um, you guys are well kept at the castle. Uh, happily via the, the serving staff, but begrudgingly via the royal guards that stay at the castle. Um, you can tell you're you're not welcomed by them at all. <laughs> they do seem to give, uh, or at least some of the guards do seem to give Slate a little bit more of a of a friendly, not friendly. That's not the right term. More of a neutral stance towards Slate than the rest of you, and you aren't quite sure why. But um, they just seem to have a less a smaller bias toward a rock person as opposed to the rest of the races here, and uh, less toward Tila being uh, just a smaller human. How rude. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a very, very racialized kingdom right now. Mm. Um, during the night here, you are able to. Uh, hear some things uh, via the night's gossip. Uh, just little details of uh, events going on around the Kingdom of Emberia. 
Uh, for instance, there there's already rumors going around to how the king's like gone a little crazy because he's like starting to be friendly with all these other races that he's like clearly hated and told everyone to stay away from all these years. Um, and then uh, obviously Amon being like it's okay. They they're like, should we listen to the advisor? Maybe the advisor is like mind controlled him. It's like no, no, the advisor is bound to the king. Can't do that. Like all this kind of back and forth. But um, some interesting things that you find out are that they've been dealing with a very strong militia front on the east side of the kingdom. Uh, apparently, the Greenskins have kind of risen up via their tribal system and started building an army, and they've been fighting against the kingdom for a while. I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, there's just odd occurrences over there. They're saying, like, there's some sort of orc that's, like, just been doing so well and has been doing so much damage to their militia that they've had to call in, uh, they had to call in the, uh, human heroic party, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the other gemstone party that works for the Kingdom of Imbiria <laughs> to go deal with that situation. So that would explain where they went since they came here, besides Amon, who's advising the king. Just little, just little details like that. You, so, like, now you have some information on, like, why the Kingdom of Iberia is, like, malicious focused on, and why they're trying to deal with the other races right now. <laughs> oh. Hey, how's oh. it going? Hello. You Hello. In... Oh. In uh, in short, uh, you get uh, you get giant spider. I would not enjoy that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do 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 I have to have giant spider? <laughs> no, yeah. you do not. <laughs> um, sorry. In short, uh, you've been overhearing rumors on how the knights are thinking the king's kind of going crazy because because of uh, suddenly liking other races and how the kingdom's kind of struggling in a war against the greenskins to the east right now. Some sort of orc has been decimating their forces. It's, yeah, okay. So, like, it's all it's all going according to Keikaku, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be uh, fine. Everything is fine. We got this. Yeah. But, uh, in the meantime, you guys are expecting a summons any, like, any moment from the king, uh, as you were able to spend the night here and wait for them to gather the prisoners. Perfect. perfect. I'm just signing in. For sure. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, as I stretch. I mean, we're technically waiting for Tila to come in anyway. She just got back from work. Yeah, that's what I was filling in. Oh, is everyone level 11, by the way? Otherwise, should yep. probably do that as well. Okay. <laughs> I leveled last minute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 10 to 11 shouldn't be too hard, but... Hey, I didn't have much to, to do. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm level 11. Double check. Yeah. Unless, unless, as weird as it is, if you're a pure fighter, then level 11 is a little different. But <laughs> but oh. otherwise, otherwise you're good. <laughs> I got a nice deity upgrade, and then I got a new spell. Yeah. Um, the D&D changed its, its logo. Oh. D&D Beyond? D &D Beyond. Yeah. 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 Is that for oh. Pride Month? Yeah, Pride Month's logo. I just never noticed. Oh, that's oh. charming. Yeah, because I was oh, like, I, did they I change the logo? Now. Yeah. I, I, I didn't even notice. Now I... Supporting all D&D races and genders. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at it, I was like, is that, is that, yeah, I think it's for Pride <laughs> Yay, we love to see it. <laughs> and, and you know what I identify as? Goblin? A menace? Giant spider. No, get out of here. Why are you so mean tonight? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm <laughs> just being weird. You're just so unnecessarily I, evil. I, I got some really cool spider tokens, so I keep messing with them. <laughs> oh. I almost God. spat out my tea. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. Side note, I got a new job, by the way. I oh, uh, Stella was saying. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I got Congrats. a job at a, at, a, at a pet value. Oh, oh, that's good. Cool. So nice. yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, it's very nice. It's been going very well. Pets are pets are good. 
They're good. Yes. They are good. <laughs> Including our psychotic cat. But of course. <laughs> Including the way. Yeah. yeah. Had to summon Lucifer. One of the, the elder gods. Meta. That's like oh, which which reminds me, somewhere. holy cow! So many elder gods now, are like oh. canonically in this game because, like, I'm like, you already know Steve and Gregory. I might as well start expanding this roster. <laughs> uh, Gregory, so. he's my favorite. You guys should yeah. really stop letting me na- name them. Yeah. <laughs> that- no, but I don't want to. Steve yeah. and Gregory so far. I've actually like got their like <laughs> like intimidating real names and then it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. nickname Gregory. Hold on. We we <laughs> named Gregory. Steve. We named Steve in Marston's campaign. Oh yeah, we did. But I got Steve's real name as well written down. So. Oh. <laughs> just, just stuff you guys could eventually learn, but <laughs> you know, they're fine with nicknames. Um If there's an elder god with wings coming up, promise me we'll name him Doug. Doug. <laughs> yeah, Doug. it's very important. Okay. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I like. Lord of all birds. Ah. But um, as you guys are chatting about having a lord of birds, no, <laughs> the uh, the invitation to the king's chamber arrives. Um, you guys are invited. We don't have to do this on the board if you don't want, because we're probably gonna have to transition to a a theater of mind for the next part. But um, as you guys move to the king's chamber. Uh, he kind of welcomes you, uh, says they've got their 300 prisoners and himself and the royal escort to, uh, take them to this, this, um, uh, ice cave, like, uh, what did you guys, you guys called it an exile, right? That you were going to exile the, the prisoners yes. and then claim, claim that the king was kind of going crazy and got, get him exiled as well. Think was the plan. We were waiting for the people to come to that conclusion, but yeah. The people. I mean, from what you've heard the last couple nights, the all the knights in the castle think he's gone mad. So <laughs> it should go well. Yeah, I was gonna say the word's already been spreading for two days, pretty much. Oh man, we gotta get, we gotta get this done quick. <laughs> yeah. So um, so making the argument that he went crazy wouldn't be too too hard to do at this point. Um, Am I still shiny? Uh, you are shiny for what? One more day, I think. So I don't know. Am I still invisible? <laughs> uh, no, your invisibility would have <laughs> like Aww. you would have you would have went to sleep invisible and woken up visible. <laughs> so, so so hopefully you were covered up when you woke up. <laughs> yeah, I just wake up. I'm like, am I still invisible? <laughs> like, just, oh my god, I forgot! A, a maid is cleaning the bed chamber. It's like, am I invisible? Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, am I invisible? Ah! <laughs> Take that as a no. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted. This is just yeah. a test. Just a test. Did it not go through. Uh, oh, okay, did you try to failed. send something? Oh. Yeah. Because I restarted my computer, so I'm trying to make oh. sure. Excellent. Um, and with that, uh, the king walks you and your group back to the the cave of hunger with a couple royal guards. They only bring about 20 or so, because, uh, you know, the prisoners are in chains. It's not like they're gonna, gonna get very far. Um, and the king himself is riding on, uh, on horseback with, uh, you all in a wagon behind, uh, <laughs> behind a pair of royal knights. I'm picturing, um, like, a children's wagon. Yeah. <laughs> a little umbrella. <laughs> Just a teeny little wagon. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a rickety wagon. They probably could have gotten you something better, but, you know, uh, I think the knights kind of pushed for that wagon, or they told the king they'd get the wagon for you. Uh, you can tell they still aren't very fond of you guys. Um, so it's a bumpy ride the whole way there for you guys. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But as you arrive at the ice cave and it gets a lot colder, uh, the prisoners kind of shivering, 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 they're shivering each other, uh, shivering, <laughs> shivering, each other <laughs> shivering in their, uh, in their chains and, uh, prisoners clothes. Ooh, strength. Uh, that's a terrible strength check. Oh, did that go through? Yep. <laughs> okay. It worked. Never mind. That was the test. We're good. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you, uh, eventually lead them into the cave. Let's see. Let's see. Frozen Mountains. Uh, activate. 
Um, ba do ba do. Considering it's probably an easier way to get back to where you want to be, I'd assume you'd want to come through where the dryad helped you out of the cave. <laughs> but oh, you wouldn't probably have your skeleton here yeah. anyway. As opposed to past all the other things we had to fight earlier. <laughs> oh, we're back in the cave. Yeah. But all the things that we had to fight are dead. Uh, you guys ran past no. a bunch of stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you are back in the ice cave and you have uh, the king and uh, army of prisoners basically following you in. The, the royal guards seem a little confused <laughs> but uh they're following the king's orders oh, it's, it's fine it's fine come now children excellent cool. everything's cool literally follow cat mom <laughs> how would they feel about dryads like would seeing the dryad make them feel more at ease um you would know that they seem to be more uh, appreciative toward Slate, and he seems to look like an elemental. So, okay, would I be able to call up, like, call up the dryad? Uh, yeah, if you want to speak to yeah, it, like, kind of give me extra favor and maybe like a little bit more convince them that I am a god, but. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can summon dryads and all of that. Uh, sure. As you uh, knock on the tree and the the dryad comes out to greet you, she's like, "Oh, you're back already." Uh, in druidic, obviously. Uh, so the rest of the party doesn't understand it, but um, the uh, yeah, the knights so kind of see this happen, and they're like, "Oh my god, she commands dryads!" <laughs> <laughs> and and a couple of them just like you know are stunned. The other ones are just you know, they're stuck in their ways. They're like, nah, it's a parlor trick or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to give her, like, the lowdown and mm -hmm. explain, like, who the people are, what her plan is, how this is going to help her, and get rid of the whole witcher thing. Uh, the dryad oh, it is weirded out by the plan. <laughs> She's she understands okay. why it needs to happen, but that's also a lot of um, a lot of loss of life happening. Yeah, <laughs> not necessarily because they are giving their lives to give lives to the future in a much more hospitable land, and she gets her entire coat uh, go back. So that's true. Yeah, saving the and, forest is and definitely. And we make sure uh, these were bad people. We make yeah. sure these are bad people. Okay, that puts her at ease a bit more. And saving the forest is definitely a goal worth fighting for. So, yes. Also, can I ask her to like show some favor to the non-humanoids and like well, everyone in our party? Um, she she nods and she kind of like waves her hand, and the the whole party kind of has a, a fairy light glow around them for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not I quite as vibrant as your own because you have the the pear glow going, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna bow to her, think her in Druidic, and then uh, lead everyone to show them where they will be living in their cool new feature wall. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> everyone loves the feature wall. Yay! <laughs> Oh right, there's a wall there. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Let's let's put uh, her away because she's not currently. Out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo. It's up and to the right a little bit. For anyone wondering <laughs> where we're going. <laughs> Back through the caves of hunger and madness and Gregory. Gregory. Like, Gregory! Gregory! I forgot the way! Uh, oh no! Uh, it's over here, you hear in your head as, like, you suddenly X see a trail. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to move. Open the door. Excellent. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got it. King Charles is here. He'll, he'll represent, like, the group coming with all the prisoners. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> did you just close the ice door behind? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, hmm. Um. The king's like, oh, that's a little sus. Let me in. The the knights uh, walking in with the prisoners uh, seem to be uh, shaking a little bit seeing this creature behind the ice. Uh, the king seems perfectly calm with uh, following the halfling into this room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone follow me. <laughs> like, this are tell Gregory what, like, these are the people and then just come speak to me. <laughs> Excellent. Right. <laughs> Hi, Gregory. Hello, cat. Welcome back. So, that's the thing. Those are the guys. Ooh, You're you, you, you even pre-chained them up. That'll make this a lot easier. You know, I hadn't thought about that, but that's actually quite a good point. <laughs> <laughs> That's running yeah, away. It's working out. Yeah, this is actually working out quite well. Mm. You can you can fuck him up too if you'd like. Nithar just kind of points over to the king. That works out quite well, actually. Uh, the time it took you to uh, leave and come back, uh, we needed a few more anyway. <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> come here for a moment. Come here. Come here. Come here, good. Come here. Yeah. Uh. What is it, my, uh, you can see him, like, almost, uh, involuntarily wince a little bit. My good sir. <laughs> you know, it has truly been an absolute privilege being in your spectacular kingdom. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. need you to follow the halfling, though. Oh, why, excellent. Of course I'll follow my, uh glowing embodiment of my deity around. Per perfect. <laughs> Kayla's, Kayla's um, just gonna, like, usher everyone into the room and be like, okay, so, like, this like, this is the living room, and then through here are the bedrooms, if you all just want to go through and, like, check them out. There are beds <laughs> prepared. We've made it very comfortable for you. Uh, the knights start... Back. Yeah, the knights start leading some of the prisoners down that hallway <laughs> toward the, uh... The bedroom, quote unquote. When okay. the king goes goes along, can I just like wave, and then like just kind of whisper like, "I hope it hurts, dirt bag," in like yeah. a deep one, <laughs> just like yeah. it hurts, asshole, and, and primordial. Yeah. yeah, and he moves on with the rest of them. Um, uh, yeah, in like the Gregory distance. Like, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go. I, was I was gonna, gonna say, say, can we ask Gregory to take them out of us now? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, Gregory. I forgot about that. Um, Gregory, uh, uh, Gregory just pauses for a moment and then, uh, he's like, of course I can. Uh, you hear her screaming in the distance <laughs> just suddenly, um, and then like followed by silence as, uh, everything kind of wraps up in that far room. Um, a couple, uh, three of the knights, uh, kind of walk into the chamber let me see if I can find a good knight token for this. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop, neutral guard. Okay. Three of the guards walk into the, the room. They're like, oh my god, those weren't bug beds over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, as they no. do, as they do, you see like ethereal tentacles reach to each of them. And they and the three of them walk up to you guys that have the eggs inside of you, and they just hold out their hands. Uh, you feel the sudden urge to vomit as you puke the egg out into uh. their hands, and then they eat the egg in front of you. Oh, yeah. oh why? <laughs> Gila pukes a little more. <laughs> That's fair. Gregory's like, and we are settled. <laughs> oh, Jeez, Gregory, you could have said something. Isn't Gregory going to help us with the ice switch? Or... Oh yeah, oh, no, he's I, doing that. I will deal with the ice switch. I now have uh, more than three hundred disposable bodies to use. I think I'm gonna be sick again. <laughs> this better not come back and bite us in the butt. I swear. It'll be fine. Gregory's <laughs> very trustworthy. I, I will have you know, I uphold my contracts to the letter. <laughs> I told you, primordials have no reason to be shitty. <laughs> 
See, I, I mean, wasn't around last session, so starting this session with leading 300 people to their death <laughs> isn't a great, <laughs> a great sight. Tila did uh, it. That's even better. The prisoners, oh, right. just, the prisoners walk back off in like a zombie trance. <laughs> Bye, boy. They were racist and they oh, and they but, killed some parts of my family. Fuck it. them. They, yeah, they, 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 yeah, they tried to do cat genocide. Okay. Yeah, fuck them. Uh, do you say that like out loud or? No. Like in the, oh no, okay. no no no. Well, uh, well, I mean, I'd, like they're walking off anyway. I just meant to the rest of the party whether you said that out loud. But <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but just he, over here in Gregory's, like the uh. The cat people? Is that what you're talking about? Gregory? Oh, no. The, uh, the ones that came here earlier, uh, they had to go down into the Underdark through the tunnels. Oh, Gregory, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I think that it takes a thorough second to clue in here, just like, yay! Oh. <laughs> They're really uh, there, deep down, aren't they? There are many different entrances to the Underdark. You could choose a less dangerous route if you wanted. The ones here have a lot of the, uh... The creepy crawlies, as you mortals like to call them. <laughs> I'd prefer not to run into those. <laughs> I appreciate um, the tip, Gregory. Thank you. The, uh... From past knowledge, you guys would also know that there's another big known entrance to the Underdark on the other side of the continent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would take uh, a lot of effort to get back here. Yeah. You know there's a like you know there's a bunch of entrances, but those are the only two like big known ones as of right now. It's my family, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so your choice is cross the continent and try to find them or chase after them through the the danger tunnels in here. <laughs> Danger tunnels. You know what, everyone? I feel like we might be in a zone of danger. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 you hear I think a, it's time a to go clap into the behind the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> Gregory knows what's good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Nitho just doesn't okay. even question it. Like, all right, Gregory, point me in the direction. You all, it's been real. I'm going to save my family. You don't have to come. I understand. Um, the easiest tunnel, um, for you all would be the one just to the left of my chamber. Uh, since it slopes downward. Perfect. <laughs> Slate, you're coming with me though. You don't get a choice. <laughs> of course, my friend. I'd love to find your family. They right. disappeared even before you did from our world. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Who knows how many years like, it's been? I'm gonna get. <laughs> Tila's gonna oh, go you guys are all like, coming! Yay! Get, uh, the babies. We Let's we shall babies. help you. Also, it gets us out of this creepy Friends. cave. No, yes. we just got rid of the babies. <laughs> but there's worm babies. That's true. We are heading toward worm babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gregory. by the way, tell yeah, other Amora we said ha ha lol. Bye, Gregory. <laughs> I, I don't understand, but I will do. <laughs> but, uh, She'll but... know. She'll know what it means. <laughs> Here it is. Is uh -huh. it this hole? Yeah. Welcome okay, to we're the not hole. Past the babies. Zook, where are you? <laughs> They're further back. Ooh. Zook, you could fly, right? You're a bird. You see a what? massive hole that <laughs> just drops straight down hundreds of feet. Uh, it's oh. slick as ice, so you're able to slide down if you wanted to. Uh, Zook, fly! You can fly. Fly. Um, oh, do <laughs> I have anything that will let make my fall? That's the moment when he realized he can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Molly can fly! Molly has a flying speed! <laughs> he wants to ride Molly! Ah! Uh, excitement! <laughs> Slate jumps into the hole. Oh god! Whatever! Slate! Yeah. I'm just gonna jump! <laughs> Alright, fine. You, you just hear, like, <laughs> scraping rock against ice the whole way down. Um, oh, it's awful! I, and I accidentally went through a wall somehow. 
Yeah, so that's fair. You. <laughs> yeah, you made it. Um, yeah, so anyone who hops down the slide, um, you end up going down this way. Woo! Ooh, it's like a slippy slide. No, I see them. <laughs> you hey, see some. For uh, the record, yeah. Um, I am riding Molly like Kilala. I just oh, okay. can't bring Molly in. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let me grab your. It makes Molly. the slide extra slippery with the fire. Oh God! Well, no, cause, cause uh, Molly, Molly can fly, so like I have a controlled fall. Controlled <laughs> descent. I was just picturing all of us behind Molly, like getting covered in steam. Like ah! Like, yeah. Down. It's good for your pores. Um. <laughs> oh. As you reach the bottom, you see uh, some really warm steaming pools. Uh, that seem to contain some side, sort of glowing uh, rocks inside of them. Uh, meanwhile, you also see a couple of remoras uh, that are just, you know, sleeping in the corner. A big remora, if you can see it off in the distance, is in a pool of water sleeping as well. So, are those its children? Are those babies? <laughs> Possibly. I could electrocute the water. <laughs> it's a pretty but aren't good they idea. Of? No, there's uh, the big ones in the water. Yeah, there's a yeah, big one in the a, water. You know as well. what? You, you could, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're gonna eat us. I feel like we should just sneak by. At the very least, let Zook and I like explore first. That's okay. fair. That's yeah. fair. Let's just. I haven't passed without like chase stopped. Oh yeah. If if you want to make it extra sneaky. sneaky. Oh okay. Where'd they go? So what does that do again? Do I get plus ten? Do I just pass stealth or plus ten? Yeah, yeah it gives plus ten to stealth. Yeah. Okay. Which makes that a thirty-nine stealth check. <laughs> Jesus. I have the wind. <laughs> you may not fly, but you do glide. <laughs> oh my god! I. Even NASA's nine roll 19. is a nineteen. So, so I wow. really, I got like thirty. How? How did you get a 33 in plate armor? Listen, I'm in Mithril, <laughs> first of all. Oh, Mithril armor. Okay, that makes it a little better. <laughs> <laughs> oh I assume God. we're probably all good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's sneak. <laughs> 13. Okay, yeah. Okay, everyone is safe at the moment. I'll just keep checking against passive perception as you guys do stuff in the room, but normal movement they haven't beaten, so. Oh, that's a big one. So oh, we're just following fuck that. Right? Okay, I'm following Zook. I don't. <laughs> so, uh, inside the water that you're passing, the two pools, uh, you notice a lot of red gro glowing rocks in them. Okay. Uh, they also seem them. to be heated. Like, uh, as you kind of like walk past, Ooh. you're feeling steam come off the pools. After we're done, we can take a bath. <laughs> I was about to say we could turn this into a hot spring, make a lot of money. We could. Yeah. We, we could. A glacial retreat. Pay no attention to the king and soldiers in the corner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so it's like a lot of bones. Staffed one would be a worthy challenge. <laughs> Slate, I swear to God, <laughs> do not start shit right now. <laughs> What? Why not? <laughs> I would never. It's, it's huge, and yes, you would. This is disappointing. Yeah. Uh, you find a bunch of empty side caves. Ah, poop. Yeah. <laughs> but oh. further along, you find a tunnel that slides downward. Ooh. Slide. Oh no, it goes two ways. Oh wait, it forks. Uh, it forks. Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm picking going up. away. I'm picking yeah, away. Yeah, Na NASA's going up. By the way. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, now it's going up. No, oh, no, apparently. I mean, like, going uphill. <laughs> you can't slide oh, uphill. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, because I was like, guys, Wait, a fork's a fork! Through again. Okay. <laughs> so you can't oh, no, slide uphill. The <laughs> what? Oh, down. I thought I, I, I thought I was following. No. <laughs> No, that was it. Zook, you're flying! <laughs> so everyone's just hopping on the slide? Okay, we're going. <laughs> I thought we were supposed again. to hop on the slide. Shit! <laughs> <Guilty slide. laughs> no, no questions asked. No one questioned anything. 
I thought we were going. I wasn't done exploring, but we're going down here now. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. I need to get everyone in a grab. There we go. Okay. Uh, boop a doop a doop a doo. Oh my god. Boop a doop a doop a doo. So much for the hot spring. <laughs> what a great hot spring idea. Let's leave. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, leaving. Um, Family. We're not fighting. I thought I was okay. in full dark mode right now. <laughs> Family. <laughs> um, boop a doop a doo. Okay. Um, is that game? She is paused. Yep. As we're moving over to the next scene, <laughs> falling down, uh, the end of the cave just drops suddenly, and you guys fall down into what seems to be trees and foliage as you roll through it into uh, into what appears to be some old ruins, uh, landing on your various parts in the dirt. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Welcome. Your family could have at least left cushions. Actually, uh, would it, I'm trying to think if anyone would have. No. If anyone would have knowledge of the Underdark, but. <laughs> um. Well, I know Undercommon. I might know some knowledge. Oh, okay. Yeah. I... It, if you know the language of Undercommon, then you'd at least know the Underdark exists. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think sh she's studied it a bit because she is kind of an archaeologist. <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome to the Underdark. You would realize that uh, this seems to be one of the entrance tunnels to the Underdark. You are probably a couple hundred feet below the the surface right now. Oh, uh, breathing. <laughs> uh, the Underdark has its own, like, growth and... and uh, plants somehow surviving down here. I should turn that music down a little bit. It's a little too loud. Yeah, it's a, it's a little. There we go. Uh, <laughs> new music tracks. Uh, <laughs> and I just need to grab a couple more things, and we should be good to go. Because I wasn't, I wasn't sure how quickly people would top into the <laughs> underground tunnels. Yeah, I thought we were gonna we just go for it. We're like slide. <laughs> Everyone, just in case we die <laughs> down here, I just want you to know that I appreciate you helping me. Aww, no problem, buddy. We are cat Except for Amora. family, after all. <laughs> Except for really? Amora. She's a sass wow. master and she knows it. Uh, um, you guys would hear... Very catty today, aren't you? You guys would hear a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> rustling <laughs> out the south side of your... your current space. Alright. I don't like it. Neither do I. <laughs> Out of character, I already know he's excited to use spider things. Like <laughs> yeah, <spider>. I'm... <laughs> he is. I'm... <laughs> he hasn't shut up about it today. <laughs> Why? I am I... so scared. <laughs> like... I, am I so did scared. not have the brain to be like, oh, we leveled up. I got more spells, so I don't know what the fuck spells I have. <laughs> that is Let's fair. Go. That happens. <laughs> I think you should like, be. You like... I don't actually. I don't know if Druid has access to sixth level spells yet, but you might. Um. Yes, I do. Should be the same as cleric. Mm -hmm. I just know there's some oddities. Like warlock is a little behind on those, so. Yeah, that, that's fair. Um, I mean, but what would people like to do now that you are hmm, can I in the Underdark? Because this might be something that I would be more familiar with if I examine the um, yeah, for sure. the architect. Um, uh, you can, can do a, a history. Do, oh, a like, history? Is there any yeah. possible like danger at the moment? Uh, the history check reveals oh like a danger sense um just because if i have time i want to do this oh commune with nature uh there is definitely oh, genius yeah uh the trees and plants down here seem to be speaking with almost a thick foreign accent to you like there's a very distinct 
different plant culture down here. Um, hmm. They talking about danger. They kind of just seem to agree that the Underdark is always a dangerous place for like even plant life. So, <laughs> can um, I ask them where it's what's the distance? Three hundred feet. Uh, if there's any like cat folk around, um, I'll the see. plants would be able to tell you that cat folk did pass through here. Okay. Uh, um, but they aren't here well, it's anymore. Within three hundred feet, so I would know anything within three hundred feet. Yeah. Yeah, they're not in that area anymore, but they did pass through here. Okay. Um, are there any of the underfolk around? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. There's a lot of them. Are there any, <laughs> like, right close to us? Uh, yes. <laughs> Again, there's okay. a lot of them. And yeah. is there any influence from <laughs> other planes of existence? Uh, down here? No. Not at the moment. At least not within that area. Cool. Okay, I relay relay all of this to everybody. Oh, so everyone tug, is on high guard. Tug, 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 tug. <laughs> so, yes! Why? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I, down, I know you're reading the thing. Look down. Yeah. I don't know how to ping it other than the square that I'm doing yeah. down here. I was going to say, do this. As, as you're. Here. As Akash was reading the structures, you would read that these are. This was an old temple to Lolth, the, the Spider Queen. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, it seems to be written in uh, under common and a mix of a, a weird elvish language you aren't quite familiar with. So I can speak under common. Am I able to read it? Well, yeah, that's what you were able to read from oh. it without the. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming I'm quite. Am I quite <laughs> familiar with love? Uh, if you do a religion check, I could put. I you want know. to do a religion check because I want to see how she would react. To be to being in an, an old temple? Well, to, like, a temple of Lolf, yep. really, you know? So religion, eh, that's not bad. Excellent. Uh, you would know that uh, Lolf doesn't care for those who aren't drow or spiders. Like, at all. <laughs> Ooh. So... <laughs> As I read as I read the text, I'm just like, oh, we shouldn't be down here. <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, Mora pointing to the southern door, uh, you guys would hear a large amount of footsteps approaching. So I, I'm just going to relate to the group be like, you know how you don't like spiders? <laughs> well, yes. we're in the Spider Queen's temple right now. Um, oh, I, I don't have to see my family. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, I don't have to see my family. It's not a big deal. I just see let's, let's, let's turn back. I'd rather deal with the giant creepy thing anyway. We've got to see your family. Um, am I supposed to be able to see into that room? Because yep. uh, it's, oh, yeah, kind of a, can... it's kind of a cracked wall that you guys can... Can I like, nod to Nas and change into what I... like? I can see him. Oh, I oh, see some turn dudes. into a drow? Sure. Yeah, and I also have the clothing. Uh, the I have a special item. It changes my clothes, too. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to web the crack. Uh, is there a... I don't know if there's a disguise icon. Is there a disguised icon? Uh, boop a doop doo Silenced. Sleeped. Stunned. There isn't really a disguise icon. Let's use this. Like I'm gonna eyeball. look at Amora and also change, but I don't have the clothes to match. So I just realized. We're still stinky. <laughs> yep. Uh, do you need the undercommon translator? Oh yeah. Okay. Are you gonna disguise yourself <laughs> as an undercommon drow? And, I could attempt. And not speak undercommon. Uh, do we still have those earrings in? <laughs> Because I think mm. I'm the Does only one still that can have speak... the understand all languages. Not oh, yeah. Oh, but she can understand all languages. languages. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So just you two go out, transform, but Mr. I, but I yeah. can speak under common, so like... Yeah, the, tr- the trade-off here is the definitely... What's the plan here? Yeah. 
the two people that look like Drow and the one person who speaks. <laughs> I'm just seeing what my comprehend languages for the duration. You understand the literal meaning of any spoken language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that lets you understand it all, but it doesn't let you uh, doesn't let you speak, speak it, any yeah. of it. Yeah, but I cannot appropriately <laughs> real good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. It's, if you can understand it, just speak, speak, be quiet, <laughs> be chill. You uh, cool. the marching, the marching <laughs> stops cool. outside of the doors. Um, I can, oh my god, I could even be like on the other side of the door where they can't see me and just reply back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just move our, <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> just in case you get into a moment where it's like they need an answer or something. I don't know. What's I'm my just, like, uh, deception? Just... My deception's pretty good. We might be able to do that, and I have really good performance. So you, yeah, you do, you do. Of course. I'm um, ready. I'm prepared. We can do it. I'll just Some you know, I'll chill, I'll chill where they can't see me and in case like you need someone speaking and I'll just yell. <laughs> I like mm, it. It's a plan. Excellent, excellent. Okay. I don't know. More than welcome to give it a shot. Uh from the outside uh... you do hear uh someone yell in under common. Uh hey, we know someone's in there. <laughs> Come out. I also have decent deception, so that's not bad. I believe uh, in us. Rod We're also still suits. sneaky. <laughs> Going out as a pair, or one at a time? How we... Your choice. Should I stay in here to make sure they have cover, or... Um, I thought you were gonna go out, and I'm going to stay in here and communicate if we... if they... Yeah. Need That's communication. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I, I think everyone should remain <laughs> hidden and let them do what they need to do there, first. And if it goes Z bad, Zook, will... you would see pretty much an army of guys standing up there. Oh, it has a lot of bolts. I see it, a but... shit ton of people. <laughs> I see a lot. Um a couple of you would have ceiling. a have a bit of a flashback to um to the mention of uh of a drow army. That was going to be coming up from the Underdark. <laughs> oh, balls. I don't remember that. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be here for a couple days. <laughs> well, they got here fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They were coming to hunt those, uh, those insects that you guys saw above you. I look right. at Akasha. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Stay strong. Mm -hmm. uh, the, get a performance. Go oh shit! Yeah. Oh. The, com oh. the commander, okay. the commander steps forward. He's like, "You." Oh, should I have done deception? Wh oh, well. Where's your regiment? He points to the, the drow in the front, yelling in under common. I'm just gonna shrug. I'm used to not talking <laughs> back. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he uh. Oh. It's like if it wasn't for the uh. The circumstances, I, uh, your insolence wouldn't be tolerated. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, hang my head. Not not meet his gaze. <laughs> <laughs> now, who else is in there with you? We heard multiple bodies land. Uh, I'm gonna just pull Amora yeah. next to me. And kind of like gesture to her. <laughs> yes, yes, that. That's and it. I, I it's just us two. <laughs> yeah. I, I bow. <laughs> I think that's appropriate. <laughs> uh, he kind of like looks you over. It's like, and you. Uh, do you know what regiment you two are from? I shake my head. <laughs> can I can I roll something on that? Uh. <laughs> Sure, you can attempt to roll. It'd be pretty hard, but you could try and roll like a, a history or a... History. Fuck. You have no idea can what I, the regiments would be. Can I cast Bend Luck? Uh, oh, Bend Luck, okay. Uh, it's, um... I don't know if you remember, it's a thing where... I, I can read it if I find it. One, but <laughs> like, I know it it's a, a thing. thing. You it can is a good thing. do 1d4. Would that help at all? 
Uh, it's still a pretty low roll. She did yes. get an out one. Okay. Um, I tried so hard, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's fine, I got backup plan if this goes sour. The, uh, the drow kind of looks you over. It's like, uh, why are you standing back there anyway? Come forward. Okay. I guess we go <laughs> forward. You're in disguise, right? Nithar's yeah. getting real nervous. Like, he's, he's <laughs> it's like, oh, don't, mm -mm. Like, Nithar just, like, shaking his head. Like, oh, no. Excellent. Molly should be done so. with us. Do, do either you step out of the doorway? Yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> another forward? one. <laughs> Don't mm. you love the amount of people out here? <laughs> um, he, I have he kinda, ready. <laughs> he kind of looks you over and he's like, You almost look like you're supposed to be part of my regiment. <laughs> How did you get here so quickly? Is he speaking? How is he speaking, first of all? Uh, under common to you. Back. <laughs> I point up because we fell down, right? So I just point up and, like, cock an eyebrow. Maybe we should pretend oh. we have memory loss. Kind of, like, not mm. for a little this bit. This is a good, yeah. <laughs> this is a good time to pull <laughs> an amnesia. <laughs> yep. We can pretend we can't talk and that the worms did it. Ah. <laughs> Can I, can were, I do the, like, go. worm with my worm. arms? <laughs> he uh, he kind of stops for a second and starts... Uh, his accent changes, and he starts speaking to an elvish. Um, And he's like, uh, he's like, did you hit your head or something? Do I, okay, so I understand him, but let me see if I speak it. Do you speak it? No, I'll, I can well, just you nod. <laughs> I nod to and keep doing the worm with my arm and like <laughs> okay. gesture that I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I roll performance? Sure. Yeah. Uh, performance or persuasion? Your choice. Uh, Unless you want to say I'll, deception. I was gonna say I'll let you. I'll let you pick because if you're trying to like <laughs> trying to emote this whole situation out, I'll I'd take a performance. But <laughs> okay, well, I should have done I'll... persuasion. Yeah, persuasion's pretty good. I'll do. Performance, and I'm gonna. Oh my lord! Tides of chaos. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was gonna say persuasion is like when you're telling the truth, even if you're like trying oh. to. Yeah, deception's more if you're trying to make a lie or Oops. a fake situation. Well, you can perform Parts. your way out of this, so it's fine. Excellent. Oh, damn. So I get advantage, so obviously I'll take the first one. Yeah. Uh, your performance is very awe-inspiring, but uh, leaves him a bit razzled by the fact that you've basically emoted the fact that you can no longer speak because you hit your head. <laughs> no, I'm doing the can't speak and then the worms and I'm pointing and, up. And the worms, yeah. yeah oh, the, the worms. worms made it so you can't speak. That's the idea, yeah. I'm hoping that they don't know enough about these creatures that maybe they think they have some like. Power? I see, I see. So you were part of the scouting party that went up before us. Nod, 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 nod. <laughs> he, uh, he kind of scratches his chin. Well, that was kind of dumb. Why would you engage them without the rest of the army? Nithar I, just shaking his head like, what I want to do the buff man <laughs> arm pose, you know, like, I'm so strong. <laughs> thought I was tough enough. Interesting. No, she's not. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, well, I'd, uh, I'd like to know where the rest of your scouting party is. I thought I heard more people fall down. I do the dead thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping they oh. hear the screams from upstairs. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Annoying. We should definitely, uh, we should definitely take them for burial then. And I point up and I do the worm again. And I, and I just, I'm trying to communicate with my hands. Just, I need you to save us. <laughs> are, you're saying are, do the worm, and I'm picturing you like on the ground. I, I <laughs> almost did that. I was like, let's not do are, that because then they're not going to take us seriously. Are, are you saying they died to the worms up there? Then why did I hear them fall down? <laughs> I gestured to me and like just us, just us. Are you questioning my hearing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I sign are you deaf because <laughs> I'm not talking <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna you, like wave my yeah, arm behind me, like sure. gesturing to everyone else to hide a little bit, just in case. Sure. <laughs> he uh he actually does like uh complete sign language to you. Does your character understand sign language? <laughs> I comprehend every language. Okay, you. <laughs> you understand the sign language, and he and he and he signs uh he signs uh at least I uh, at least I can still speak. <laughs> I cross my arms. <laughs> And I just step to the side and I gesture for him to go ahead and enter because you already told everyone to hide, right? Oh, hide-ish. And yeah, they hide-ish. have passed without a trace? Question mark. Oh, they they can a big rock man. They can make <laughs> stealth checks. Yes. I'm gonna have to do like I don't know where to. Yeah, that's fair. I'm we're we're can I make... just hiding in terrain, I guess. Can I make it with the advantage? Oh my god, a cost for what being up heck? on the ceiling. Question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if that would be advantageous though, because you might as well just use your pass if, without if trace plus ten. <laughs> What's with these okay, shitty rolls? <laughs> Wait, well, no. I'm gonna oh, hide because I rolled good. I, no. I'm gonna hide over here. It's gonna hide like in the middle of these things. Twenty six, twenty two. Wow, those are a lot of good checks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, fifteen. Okay. So everyone's kind of hiding in the room. Um, the guard steps forward. Uh, please move out of the way. <laughs> kind of covered in web. Just hand saying. toward Nas. You're hiding behind some webs. I covered, nice. I covered the crack in web. <laughs> Does Nas move out of the way? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> He, uh, he steps in. Uh, everyone in the room would see this uh, imposing-looking drow with two swords walk into the room. Uh, he seems to be looking around. Uh, he's like, oh, and by the way, uh, like he calls back out, while I uh, investigate this, Inquisitor, uh, you take the two scouts back for uh, recovery. <laughs> uh, a, an Inquisitor walks over. <laughs> You see him we holding a two options here. A demonic looking spear. <laughs> I already know what one of my options are and we it's, can either go uh, with them not peaceful. Or we can cast a wall of force on that side and beat this guy up and run. Okay. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, I was going to throw in a guardian of faith to distract the shit out of them. And they're yeah, gonna be fighting that for only a bit. Exit, so Yeah. I think we have to go with them. <laughs> Yeah, I have we big climb back now, up. but, like, that's a lot of people. Whoa. That's a you lot. Could, you can't fight these guys. You could that's try to climb lot. back up. <laughs> it would be very difficult, but you could try. I feel <laughs> like we're at a loss. I we're think we have, have to go. go. And then y'all will just rescue us later, I guess. <laughs> See ya. Right. If you, if you, Peace. I mean, I Boy. guess. I don't know. How, is not cool any other this. way to help is there going to be a fight. Oh, they're you'll... Fight. You'll be cool with this in a second because you see the commander glancing toward uh toward Nithar. <laughs> oh, Amora, get in here! <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I thought you said the other scouts fell down here. Uh, He's, it, like you were you were like lying under some shrubbery, right? He he kind of walks over, assuming you're uh. <laughs> Assuming you've actually like hit your head and you're <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> oh, he just thinks I'm like I'm like dead. Yeah, he think he thinks you're like either dead or unconscious on the ground. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna like be super still. Can I walk up? And yeah. As I round this corner, I assume since can he see me if I do this? Uh. Can I? You can press go stealth. Digi- yeah. Yeah. Can I press the digitation to make it so Nithar stinks kind of like he's been dead for a while? No, <laughs> <laughs> but not too long. Yeah, but, yeah, like twenty minutes. He's like he's just he's just he's just a dead body. Like, how can I can I make that happen? Uh, yeah, you can press the digitation of smell. That's doable. <laughs> I am so bad. <laughs> <laughs> your your cat nose smells this like a hundred times not worse. To <laughs> yeah, I'm just like uh. the um the drow kind of looks over. It's like oh. Well, uh, hmm. I wonder if it would still be, still be uh, reasonable to take this one for burial. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hold my nose and shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
That's a shame. Uh, we could have put him with the rest. <laughs> There's been a lot of tabaxi coming through here, oddly enough. Nithar, like, sh can Nithar at least, like, shoot a look to someone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can probably see me. Maybe. <laughs> he, he's, like, shooting you a look like, I'm going to jump this dude in a second for information. <laughs> <laughs> like he just kind of like I'm looks ready to at fight if we have to. Yeah. I really am. Yeah, the, the fuck this. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. Yeah. It's his family. Nithar, no, <laughs> no. Nithar just like Nithar just jumps up with like the flintlock like right underneath the dude's chin. Okay. Um. Let me. Put a wall of force at the door. I now. am immediately wall of forcing that. <laughs> yeah. <gap>. yeah. <laughs> Shit is going down. Can I draw on this? I don't. I can't draw on this one. Can I? Okay. Uh, I you guys, we should probably rolling. roll for initiative. Yeah, yeah, you can roll for initiative. You will get a Nithar will get a surprise on this guy, but we'll roll for initiative. I think I hey, wait. I think I can. Hand. I have like a thing I could do. I forget. It involves initiative. I'm just double checking. Oops. <laughs> oh, I call I misspelled Drow Mage and I spelled it Drow Meiju. 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 I love it. Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> so Yeah, I can hang on. I can add my charisma oh. modifier to my Oops. initiative roll. That's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, brackish uh, audacity is apparently a thing that we can do. <laughs> I I literally didn't know that until like right now because <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw something about initiative rolls. I don't so, think I could do that. What is your brackish charisma? audacity? Yeah. Uh, add my well, it's add your charisma modifier. So it's a uh, if it's level eleven, it might be part of your swashbuckler. To be honest. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then you don't need advantage. Uh, you don't need advantage on the attack roll to use your sneak attack against an enemy creature, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Excellent. Oh, never mind. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I, I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Updated. Okay. Uh, you get the sneak attack first before we start combat. Because right. <laughs> you already brought the gun up to him. <laughs> he was not prepared for the smelly corpse to stand up. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to use panache. I'm just using all my friggin' skills right now. Yeah. Uh, so, as an action, you can make a persuasion check contested by a creature's insight check. Um, on success, a hostile creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets and can't make opportunity attacks against targets other than me for one minute. Uh, or oh, until someone else or until someone else engages it. Um, and if it wasn't hostile, then it would be very charmed by me for a full minute. Uh, but it's probably pretty friggin' hostile right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. um say so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna roll persuasion on it. Okay, uh, persuasion and. And then that's versus, yeah, their insight check. Insight. Oh boy, they have such good insight. Um, let's see. Oh, that didn't roll properly. Oh. Uh, one sec. There we go. Okay. Uh, they did not pass though. So, <laughs> I'm assuming Panache just means he's like. Basically, he's like so cocky that all the attention's on him right now. Yeah, yeah, you basically taunted him. Let me see yeah. if I can mark him. <laughs> so, yeah, Nithar just kind of like smirks and is like, hi! <laughs> so, you're going to tell me where my family is, or your brains are going to be on the ground. <laughs> there we go. And then just, uh, oh, Paralyzed is a bad one. I don't want that. Uh, targeted. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> He's targeting you. <laughs> You've taunted him. Yay. Hey, I just I could uh I could zone of truth him. 
Excellent, excellent. Uh, yeah. On your turn, Let's... you'll be able to. But yeah, is that is that the end of my turn? I assume. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. you've done a couple. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of shit just now. Okay, we're beginning combat. The Drow Assassin actually moved the fastest out of everyone. Oh. Um, and uh, he is currently targeting Nithar, so we will see how this goes. I go great. Oh, wait. <laughs> Depending oh, on the yeah. situation. Oh. Like, uh, I'll, I'll still cast Zona Troop to help you get information faster, but like... Oh. Wait, were you Did not you on it? the initiative order? No. Hopefully stays oh, in the same. Okay. Now you're there. I, I mean, I was stupid and didn't. Okay. That I needed to roll. Just keep them busy. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Does a twenty-one hit? <laughs> he get he Do rolls a twenty-one. <laughs> he rolls a twenty-one and a twelve. So I assume the twelve didn't hit, but. <laughs> so my armor class is eighteen. So eighteen. Okay, then we're good. Yeah. Uh. Oh my gosh! No, I don't want this thing. Cancel. Uh, sorry, I keep so with a thing and I don't want it. Uh, okay, so uh, five piercing damage as one of his short swords goes into your shoulder. Um, Got it. I need to make a constitution save. All right. Un- unfortunately, you feel something really painful after the blades have been drawn out of your shoulder and you take 19 poison damage. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> So I am poisoned. Yep. God, I'm so currently far poisoned. Down the list. Uh, because he can only focus on you. That's all he can do for now. So Tila's turn. Okay. okay um, is he still alive by the time it gets to me? How? If I can get still enough troop ceiling? on it, on him, we can uh, get some information. The ceiling of the little ruins you're in is about 20 feet high. The actual ceiling that you guys fell through is about 150 feet straight up. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Like you guys, so, like free fold for about 100 feet. <laughs> <yeah>. My God. <laughs> so, Buddy Boy isn't gonna go until after Kasha. So oh, yeah. you guys can see that. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's okay. this one by one foot thing? <laughs> uh, That's pretty funny. Someone, um, someone drew a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did see that. I was a little confused. <laughs> Wait, what? That's, okay. Okay. Because I'm just wondering. And now Sidamora are still here. Okay. <laughs> the I don't know uh, if you guys can see the name of the song, but it's actually very relevant. <laughs> Kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, he started it. <laughs> uh, Shouldn't have been talking about my family. I don't know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is important Nithar story stuff. Damn mouth. Okay, that's not what. Because I was like, in any other situation, he would have been totally chill, but he just had to bring it. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Hey, as long yeah. as you can keep him alive, I'm gonna blast that spell on him, and it lasts ten minutes. That's if I don't die, <laughs> too. It's true. It is, yeah. He's been in worse. Uh... I mean, he's been in better situations, too, but he's been in worse. Okay. Any ideas? I... Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just like, uh. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, wait, I wasn't trying to rush you. I was just going to be like, you can hold turn if oh, you don't yeah. have any ideas yet. <laughs> so, okay. New spell. Okay. So I get all of those things. Whoa. So, so I'm going to make this Good entire job. square the grove. Uh, um, it's going to take you 10 minutes to cast this spell, though. Uh... Which is 60 rounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's How many? time. 60 rounds. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we ain't gonna be here that long. That, that is fair. Okay. That's the same. Uh, I certainly yeah. hope we ain't gonna be here that long. I will hold turn then. <laughs> okay. Just so I can hold on. have more time to think. I just realized something. Can yeah. I use the- I, can I use my shield? Because I have that ability that if somebody's getting attacked, to teleport in front of them, and then I could keep Nifar safe. 
Oh, as a reaction? Yeah, you can take the poison damage like, instead. Like, even though it's not... If you wanna... Because my turn's not gonna be for a while, and Nefar's just getting, like... Pummeled by this guy, and... <laughs> we, it'd be hard to retroactively do it at the moment, but yes, you can do that whenever anyone takes damage, so... Okay. Yeah, because you, you're allowed to do that in response to damage as well, so... Like, you don't... Yeah. You can, like, literally last second be like, I'm gonna take that instead. <laughs> So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, actually, sorry. Oh, you got Mom an idea. should be down here with us. All oh, right, she was she was ooting a boot before you guys jumped down. Uh, yeah. You already had her summoned. What the? That's not Molly. <laughs> I dragged Molly out, oh. and it was a drow fighter. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> okay, I'm well within range to do that too. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, okay. So then can I have Molly beside Nas at the crack? Over there. Right behind the wall of force. Oh, the wa where is the wall of force? Right. Like here? To the left of me, yeah. It's blocking the entrance. Cool. Okay, yeah, because Molly is going to like try and intimidate them away from her. Because <laughs> he's a scary boy. And then I'm going to hold my turn. That was just Molly. Okay. Um, so, Nithar, you get to fight you back. Your shoulder is stinging. Awesome. Stinging or stinking? Wait, I rolled 17. Probably both at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> or did mine not go through? Oh, did Nasus right not? After uh, you're right after Nithar by one point. Oh. Because yeah. okay. he gets his charisma added onto his uh, roll. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He fancied himself ahead. <laughs> That's yeah. the only I reason. I was so fancy. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. <laughs> All right. Um, hang on. Is there anyone? Oh, Slate. I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a heads up. Um. All right. Let's see. Oh my god. I need more. Uh. I need more page. <laughs> so. Nithar is just going to be like, Oh yeah? Well, fuck you too. <laughs> and he takes out the uh, uh, boombox and unleashes like all six charges. Oh. Um, yeah, he, he going to go kaboom. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, he don't. <laughs> he uh, don't yeah, go kaboom. That was kind of a low roll, but that's okay. Oh no. <laughs> You still hit him, so that's important. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Wait, kaboom. 3d6. Oh, never mind. Do yeah, because I was like, is that a 1? Because in that case, if I roll the 1, then it jams, and I can't even use it. Uh, no, you didn't roll that 1 on your attack, because you're doing this, like, the spread shot, right? With all yeah. six chambers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can't jam on that one, so... Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so he's so in it. Yeah, it shoots in a cone, so he's gonna at least go. He's at least gonna get hit pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, he can't avoid it at that point blank range, so <laughs> he takes the damage. Um, you see Slate behind you just kind of hold up a hand and uh, grab as much of the bullets as he can from hitting him. <laughs> Sorry. Right, let me see. Uh. 16 uh using his monk reflexes he actually like puts his hand up and blocks the shot <laughs> nice because monks because monks <laughs> yeah and i thought it was just like sorry <laughs> they're really unfair when it comes to ranged combat to be fair <laughs> yeah um excellent uh so you managed to shoot him are you going to use your your second pistol or your sword as your offhand uh I'm gonna use the. Mm, I'm gonna use the second pistol and try hitting him in the head. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, physical crash, shot, piercing damage, sneak attack damage, thirty-six total. 
Oh my gosh, and 17 to hit. Uh, let's see if you manage to kick his butt. This is the assassin. 15, you do manage to hit him quite painfully in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> well, the head in this case. Yeah. You, sh you shoot up the side of his head and it seems to take off one of his ears as he just barely avoids fatal damage. <laughs> They thought this dude are having like a fucking epic <laughs> fight. In the oh yeah. Of this room. yeah. In, in fact, the ear blood just splatters all over Zook because it's that side of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of collateral, but that's all right. It better be. <laughs> Nasus turn. I thought it was becoming very Canadian during this fight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Does he look injured at all yet? Like, oh, he like, he oh, looks hey. quite brutally injured. Yes. Oh. Okay, so I'm not even gonna. We might not get the truth him. out of him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, should I use Zone of Truth? I can use Zone of Truth. Oh. I think I have it. Well, it's on your turn. Get it down. I'm gonna do it my turn. Magical Zone. Yeah, I, I have it. I can just cast. I it would before he dies. Yeah. Okay. Shoot the wand into the masses. <laughs> oh, it's not the wand. I actually know Zone of Truth. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say you shot the wand. That too, but we're going to start with Zone of Truth. <laughs> Assuming he doesn't save, then you all can go nuts. Zone of Truth. DC 16 Charisma. He does not save. Cool. He is, uh, I don't have a, a thing for this, so I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm just going to do the cursed symbol, because that's pretty much what it is in his situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Uh, anything you want to yell at him while it's still your turn? <laughs> um. Should I should I just ask him what the best way is to call off his guards? I think that's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> can't lie to me. <laughs> tru truthfully, he says his guards probably won't stop till they capture you. <laughs> truthfully, Fuck. how much do we have to torture you to make them stop? <laughs> uh, truthfully, he'd off himself before he'd tell them to stop. But that's not how torture works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 believe me, uh, I know how to deal with torture. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, say, believe me, I know how to kill myself. Go about my family! <laughs> I mean, that's part, that is part of the solution, yes. <laughs> Damn it, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Your damn sorcery. Right. Uh, what's the range on this? Sixty feet. Who's after me? Uh, right after you is the Drow Inquisitor. Mm, okay, who on our team is after me? <laughs> Akashra. Uh, Akashra. Okay, I'm gonna cast Bardic Inspiration on Akashra. Yay! Boop, boop. Let me go. Oh, I wasn't actually supposed to roll it. You have Bardic Inspiration now. <laughs> Yay! How, what's the the roll on it now? Is it like D12? You get a you get a D6 that you can add to anything, basically. Oh, okay, it's still D6. Yeah. Wait. Neat. Oh, I am at, I am 10th level. It is a D12. You're right. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't quite sure. Okay, I'm just gonna write that down. D12, cool. Just check on that wall of force, and I'm good. <laughs> I want to point out that it's taking this much to take this guy down. <laughs> and there's yep. an army outside. It's true. Well, he has to tell the truth now, so... Is that... that helps. <laughs> okay. Ask him about your family! <laughs> the Drow Inquisitor, uh presses a hand against the wall of force um he uh you see his eyes kind of start glowing purple and he presses his spear against the wall of force um I need a zone no magic it's a reaction can I do that on not my turn uh you can or attempt to spell not to spell yeah okay. you can you can attempt a counter spell uh it's immune to all damage and can't be dispelled by dispel magic. Yeah, yeah, the force wall can't be. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not, he's not casting counter spell. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, okay, so you're casting your counter spell. Um, okay, I need uh, I need your counter spell. Oh, where's your check? DC ten plus the spell's level. Okay. Ability check using spell casting ability. Oh, you have to, okay, so uh, I need you to roll a, like, uh, spellcasting check. So it would be 10 plus your, your sorcerer charisma? My charisma? No, wait, so, Sor is sorcerer, yeah, sorcerer's charisma. So I just roll a charisma check? Yeah, basically. And then add 10, question mark? Yeah. Oh, did it go through? 18. So 28? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 28. Uh, let's see. Now I need him to do his. Oof. Okay, you managed to dispel his, uh, nice. whatever he was casting. <laughs> um, he is, uh, not too happy about that. Uh, you see him disappear. Huh. Hello, <laughs> dog. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, and he reappears in the back corner of the uh, nice. area you're in. Oh. As, oh, as, as, you, as you see a mist flow through the, the chamber. Uh, any fey would recognize this as a misty step. Oh. So he doesn't get teleported somewhere spooky? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. get some bullshit. That's funny. It's literally 857, and my dog just ran up and attacked me, so I'll be right back. I have to feed her. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> right on time. I mean, you guys haven't tried teleporting in this area. <laughs> We're scarred. <laughs> it's true. I've really, like, hammered home that teleporting's dangerous. <laughs> it's true. That's funny. Uh, okay, but that's all he can do. Um... Drow mages, uh, you see a bunch of them start lining up just outside of where the force oh wall is, boy. Um, and they start trying to lob spells over the uh, oh my God. over the wall of the temple. So I'm gonna make them roll with disadvantage for for hitting the target. <laughs> um, excellent. Uh, you see a couple. Uh, black spots, unless you want to try and counterspell any of these, a couple black spots start I appearing. Don't, I don't think I can do more than one reaction. How do I find that out? Oh yeah, no, you're right. You can't do more than one. Okay, cool. I mean, not cool, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> As the different tentacles land everywhere, actually, I, this this fourth one probably shouldn't. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let this fourth one hit. <laughs> that's too that's too lucky. I don't like how lucky that was. Uh, <laughs> you uh, all these squares start filling with black tentacles growing out of the ground. Um, the whole that? area counts as difficult terrain, and I need everyone to take dexterity save. That's in one of the areas. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm on the ceiling. Uh, yes. No, you wouldn't be affected because it's on the ground. Am I rolling so low? Yay! <laughs> Excellent. No. Oof. Okay. Um, so, uh, boop a doop a doo. Uh, Slate gets pulled to the ground. Uh, Amora gets pulled to the ground, held by these tentacles. And Nithar gets pulled to the ground, held by these tentacles. Oh my god. <laughs> No tentacle rape for It's like excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you thought you'd be getting information out of me, but I'm going to be getting information out of you. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the warriors are just lining up outside the door because <laughs> they can't do anything to get in at the moment. <laughs> I thought I was in like full Aaron Jaeger mode, like just freaking out. <laughs> and Akasha's turn. Oh wait. I thought it was. Was that just uh, the elite, the the elite dude's turn? Uh, nope. 
the mage just lobbed those spells over the walls. Oh, okay. They basically threw, like, little balls of tar that you saw land and turned into tentacles. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that technically counted as attacking. People just got... Uh, they didn't take damage. It just... It, it, seem, it seems like they're restraining people. Yeah. That's the guys, like, over, uh, the, the, over the wall, right, that are doing that? Yeah, the mages... Since no one can get through the front door except okay. for the Inquisitors, I, so wanna, far. I still want to do the thing to distract them because it's gonna. How far can I do this? Because uh, that should really help with their fuckery. Uh, oh, I got thirty feet on that, so I might have to move up a bit. Let's see. Oh no. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. No! No! Oh. I fucked up! That's not, that's not what I wanted. Oh, maybe? Maybe? It's the best. Um, can I move up a bit first? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can move. You've only moved two squares so far. If you move into the purple area, it counts as double movement. So, like, it'll be 10 oh, okay. feet per um, square. You know what? Um, I was over here. Just because, you know, it's a writhing mass of tentacles, it's a lot harder to walk through. <laughs> That's. Sh okay, you know what? That's probably good enough. Um. I am going to sum I'm going to summon a guardian of faith right right in the middle of them. Ooh. Um So it should go like uh, uh not... ten feet of your guardian, okay. Uh, so yeah, just draw a circle ten feet out with the ruler. Uh <laughs> I'm getting used to the controls. <laughs> yeah, so like So the I think Oh I yeah, you did it. There. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that works. There, so that should keep them distracted. <laughs> yeah. Oh Excellent. god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works. Okay. Okay, so there's a guardian of faith there. So I'm hoping that's going to uh, keep them a bit occupied. I need a I need a half a second now because that's a lot of things to roll. <laughs> and then for the warriors. Yeah, bet you didn't expect Hi, that. Happy. Holy Hi. shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, a bunch of them take damage. <laughs> uh, damage twenty. Okay, so you take twenty. And that lasts for eight you take hours. Take twenty. So they can have fun for a while. Uh, you take 20. <laughs> That's so many 20. rolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, hits, it hits a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> okay. A bunch of people got hit by your guardian. Awesome. And then it's a Morris turn since you moved and casted. Um, hold on. Oh. Um, do I have anything I can do for bonus? That's true, you could use a bonus. I assume you'd be saving your reaction in case you can do like yeah. a step so <laughs> yeah i think i'm i'm gonna i just wanted to check i think i'm gonna wait because no one's really been like that hurt yet yeah i'm gonna wait and use my shield to like teleport to people that are needing it sounds good and maybe free people from tentacles so what would amora like to do then um, I have a question. Yes. But when it has to do with her guardian, if I cast a spell in there, does it like? Okay, because um. I have a folk. Because I have the uh, meta magic thing to where I can like not. But does it like counter her? Sp like you know what I, I mean? Don't I'm trying not will. to no. interrupt. It lasts for eight hours. Um, the guardian just... is the guardian is like immaterial. It kind of just does damage without actually being yeah. there. So you don't have to worry okay. about hitting it. Cool. So I can double cast if I don't use my movement, correct? Yep. 
I'm going to use my feature to Misty Step because that's verbal only. I don't need to be able to move to do that. Okay. Um, and I can go up to 30 feet. So I'm going to go over here. Does that possibly put me out of the tentacles? Hell yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to cast... And I can see in here, right? Because I can, I can, but I don't know if the wall of force... Is it like see-through? Uh, it's see-through, yeah. Awesome! In that area, I would like to cast... Um, what are those guys? Drows, and then the other guys are... What's... Do, would I know what they are? Uh, everyone here is a drow. Yeah. Yep. It's all drow. There's just, just drow. mages all and warriors all the side. Yeah. Okay, then I'll cast this one then instead. Clap <laughs> how? <laughs> all drow, all the time. Did it go through? Oh uh, yeah. Summon draconic spirit. <laughs> nice. Of course, the Draconic Spirit manifests on my space. Pretty. Draconic Spirit stat block. When you cast a spell, choose a family of dragon. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, poop. Clear all so I can actually read this. Hmm. I might actually have to grab this one. Draconic Spirit 5e. I gotta grab the stat block for this. <laughs> oh, it's from the Treasury of Dragons book. That's why I don't have it in my normal. That's fair. You just got it. I was so excited. Oh, nice. Yeah, Fizban's Treasury is actually really good. Okay, uh... Dragon, dragon. Uh, what color are we going for? We're gonna do, since I know he used poison, we're gonna make him a chromatic dragon, because that makes his resistance acid, cold, fire, lightning, and poison. The voice. Uh, when you summon the dragon, choose one of its damage resistances. You have resistance to chosen damage type until the spell ends. Okay, yeah. that would be poison because I've seen that and then cool he goes right after me also and okay, I'm sending him Let's... in that room if <laughs> possible there we go <laughs> yeah. big dragon <laughs> Okie doke. We can use its stat block. It's it's a blue dragon at the moment, but we can just have the chromatic resistances. <laughs> They're buddies. Okay, Zook. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, well, yeah I, you, I you held help. your turn. Yeah. Okay, so... Is there room in there for another dragon? <sighs> That's a pretty big room. I mean, room. technically, yeah. <laughs> okay. Room. Because I do have some draconic spirit. <laughs> Nice. Let's go! <laughs> dragon buddies! Is it going to be the same type of dragon? Like, should I copy-paste yep. for... Okay. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 60 feet. Yeah, that's 60 feet for me. Um, okay. And then... There was that. They were not expecting this. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. I also wanted to... Right That was uh, an action. What's what's your spell save DC? Because these mages are already terrified. They're gonna try and counter spell the second dragon that's being summoned. Oh, <laughs> I think it's fifteen. Okay, so the first mage does counter spell yeah. the dragon. No, because I can use that Lucky. thingy that I didn't use. Yeah, and that's, that's a fair. D4, so. Okay, so second one tries to counter spell, doesn't succeed. Third one tries to counter spell, succeeds. <laughs> but all just caught... like, so then yeah. there's still you've... one dragon? Yeah. Yeah, and you've used all three okay. mages counter spells. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to I'm still on the ceiling. I'm, I'm going to take my hide action. Oh, okay. You are I'm just going to hide in the shadows of like a stalactite or something. <gasps> Sounds good. Sounds good. 
the child is up. This should really be like a, a stealth option. I've just been using blind because it doesn't really have a different. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okie doke. Wow. Jeez. Uh, okay. Then it's Zook's turn. <laughs> We're starting the next round of combat, and now there's summons in the in the turn okay. track. I was about Zooks. to say it's actually the dragon's turn. He goes uh, immediately <laughs> after. Immediately after you. Hi. Yeah, that's fair. You're right. Hi. We can see well, him more well, as well, Yeah, we'll let, yeah, we'll let the Zooks... Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, why don't you do the dragon, and then we'll just count that 26, because that's a pretty good hit, so. <laughs> Dragon. Did, did it work okay? Uh... His breath no. attack? Oh, he's doing a breath attack. Okay, yes. Um, boop a doop a doo they need a deck save. How many of these are in the deck save? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's so many guys here. <laughs> um, deck save. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, most of the warriors nimbly dodge out of the way, but the mage yeah. in the front takes the damage. Heck yeah. Uh, this of a type of this dragon has resistance to, so we'll just say it's poison, and it's half as much damage on the successful one. Fair enough. I just wanted to see the dragons. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> the dragon just like destroyed that mage. All the warriors were able to jump out of the way of the spell, but or the breath. It's just technically a cone spell, but. <laughs> I can't see the dragon, I can just see everything dying. Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of stuff dying see, down there. I see a fin. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now, Zook, you're 26. Are you stabbing the Inquisitor or the uh, Assassin? The uh, Inquisitor. Okay, the one that nice. appeared above you? Yes. Okay. Uh, 28 damage. You do have... Yeah. Oh, no, Teela's on the ceiling way above you. Yeah. Um. Oh, she just appeared. Yeah, so so you do regular damage, but that is crit okay. damage, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to expend a charge on my dagger, and yep. I'm going to curse him. Okay, doke. That is a blind... Um, yeah, seeing nothing. Cursed player is blinded, but now is 20 feet blind sight. Okay, so his vision's now 20 feet. Got it. And... Ah, uh, because I got... Ah... Uh, Lost the attention. Because there was no sneak attack. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately. I guess I'll just use uh <laughs> stabby again. Excellent. That's a good stabby. Nice. Crit. Right. Sneak attack damage. Uh piercing damage and piercing damage because it's a crit. Okay. Extra piercy. Yay. Excellent. Your stabs into the Inquisitor look uh, look like they're doing less than you'd hoped that they'd do. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh. Uh, my teammates run away. It it almost <laughs> seems like he's uh doing better than the uh, assassin is in terms of the damage he's receiving. The assassin took a shotgun to the head. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> but it's the assassin's turn, so, you know, he's going to pay that back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, if you ever want to see your uh, your family again, you'd uh, you'd give up on this. <laughs> As he, uh, is, is that the truth? I mean, he can only tell the truth. <laughs> 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 As Damn. he um, <laughs> as he goes and points a crossbow at you, point blank, uh, you see the arrowhead is dripping with something black. Uh, mm. do they have to take damage for my shield to work? Uh, well, you would you would basically take the damage instead of the person, is how it would go. Can I see that happening? And can I make? Can I prepare yeah. to like dive in? Yeah, so uh, I assume a 21 will hit, so do you want to do your reaction to... I'm going to do my reaction. 
Okay, so um, so, so you teleport. Yeah. I'm gonna teleport in. Um, wait, sorry, you said 21. Yeah, 21. I have 22 armor. Yeah, so your armor blocks the shot instead of anyone taking the damage. <laughs> Uh, the assassin's caught off guard by your sudden, like, out of nowhere. Um, but, uh, he is going to use his, uh, underhanded attack. He deals 16 damage with a dagger that he throws into the air, going over your shield. Ooh. <laughs> it, sorry, 60? 16. Oh, I need you to take yeah, a constitution a save. Wrong stagger. <laughs> Earth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can tell the dagger's been poisoned, but you don't feel any ill effects from it. I just, I just stare him down. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of intimidating. <laughs> uh, Dilo, what would you like to do? <laughs> Blocks yeah! his arrow, takes a dagger to the shoulder that's poisoned. It's like, eh. <laughs> Did I not take anything from that? Did I just... Well, you've been poisoned, but you haven't felt any, like, effects of it. <laughs> like, you've held okay. off the damage, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where I stand down. I thought I was just like, <laughs> that was the most amazing thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I fall from the ceiling, is that technically a movement? You're still on the ceiling. Um... <laughs> Not really, as long as he can land safely. <laughs> Perfect! Okay, I'm gonna fall from the ceiling beside Zook. Okay. I'm going to give Zook... Where did it Guidance. Excellent. I'm going to... Where's the thing? I guess I'll do this one. Hold person at a third level so I can hold two people. So I'm going to hold those two assholes. <laughs> There's a cat purring the out. The DM is like... distracted. I heard. Okay. <laughs> <He's> assassinated. <laughs> like, oh, wisdom love. save. Okay. Oh, uh, wisdom save. <laughs> Lucy, please. <laughs> okay. He keeps wanting on his lap. <laughs> uh, oh. Wait, sorry. Was this against the Inquisitor or the Assassin? Both of them. Both of them? Oh, you're doing it for two. Okay. Uh, well, that's in sass. Oh. Let's see if we it here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the Inquisitor managed to beat it, but the Assassin did not. Okay, so the Assassin is held. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action Misty step back up to the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god, the Assassin is cursed, restrained, and taunted all at the same time. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Preferably, I would like to misty step to a hiding, if possible. Um, and then Molly is going to come over besides, so they get the buddy bonus. Yeah. Um, are we killing them? Just to double check with Nithar. We need at least one of them like alive. I think we should keep the general alive. Yeah, yeah the Inquisitor can die. Guy? Yeah. Yeah, the assassin guy, but the the Inquisitor can die. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So then Molly. Um. Actually, Zook didn't do a whole lot of damage, did he? Uh, to the Inquisitor, it doesn't look like it. No. Okay. So then you Molly is up. going to. Yeah, he is pick currently up blind. Zook. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ma's gonna pick up Zook, do fiery teleportation. So up to fifteen feet unoccupied. So we'll move I don't know, where would Zook be more helpful? We'll move here. Outside of the thing. So Zook, go to where Molly is. So you're outside of the tentacles. Ooh. And he does. Ooh, I can see the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, you see the dragon. There you go. <laughs> Front row. One seat. of these, whichever is greater. Do the same. Or, yeah, they're both sex. So either or. Uh, actually, let's do fire damage. He's from underground. Okay. 
You hit him with fire damage. He seems to brush it off. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be much here. Um, okay, that's all of my turns. Oh, it still hurt him. It's just so far all the attacks have looked like mere nuisances. <laughs> Oop, I know that one. <laughs> I just keep chucking the cat. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Nithar, what would you like to do? All right. Oh, he's, actually, he's, sorry. He... Uh, yeah, do your turn first, and then. So he still has to answer things, honestly, yeah. right? Yep, he's still under the effects. If we go with you right now, you're gonna take me to my family. Well, for sure. They're in the same alive. place we take all our pris prisoners. Alive. Yes, they're alive. And you'd be alive, too. Want to cut a deal, then? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I need to cut a deal with you? You know the because... worms above you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We could probably kill those ourselves. Hmm thinks about it. I feel like I have enough military force here to deal with the worms. Yeah, your army just got halved, my dude. <laughs> yeah, your army? I'm not very impressed. <laughs> he, uh, he just kind of smiles at the comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Uh, the only way you're coming with me to see the rest of your kind is as prisoners. Mm. Sure call, Nithar. We'll do whatever you say. <laughs> yeah. Akasha, what are you thinking? Oh. <laughs> you're, you're cat mom. Uh. Are they really going to take us as prisoners after we've... That's what I mean. That's why I don't mm. super trust it. I'm, I mean, you haven't technically murdered anybody yet. You haven't. It's like no. doesn't count, apparently. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been keeping them busy. He does again. <laughs> you haven't murdered anyone important enough. <laughs> I mean, we could murder the general. It's true. What Try happens it. if we kill you? Uh, if you kill me, then you're stuck in the Underdark until the rest of the army arrives. Hmm. All right, prisoners it is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Excellent. It's easier. Yeah. Kayla I should was probably... totally going to offer to send Molly up to get the worms, but okay. I, I should probably oh. give you two the antidote. That'd be nice. <laughs> By the way, one-on-one, -on -one, I still would have whooped your ass. <laughs> it's the other ones that I'm nervous about, and that freaky fuck in the corner. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Slate just like... <laughs> Not you, Amora, Slate! Amora oh. at the same time goes, hey, like... <laughs> Not you either, <laughs> Jesus! Hey. Let's talk about douchebag with the spear. Excuse the me, I, I am a high inquisitor of the lol. Of, of lol. Oh, I'm so, into, I'm so impressed by the spider-worshipping cult. That's where <laughs> I come from. <laughs> well, I guess if they've surrendered for now, uh... You will drop that wall of force, keeping the army out? No. <laughs> well, how, how else are we supposed to escort We're you? We're going to starve here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can just misty step out. <laughs> I mean, we can, we could do that too. Well, a few of us could. Well, it's okay. The rest of us starve. <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't need to know that. Yeah. We could do well, that too. Well, not with an anti-magic zone on this area, you wouldn't. <laughs> well, you just thought of everything. <laughs> I mean, we are assassins and inquisitors. <laughs> Dealing with mages is pretty normal. <laughs> Fair enough point. point. Just take me to my goddamn family. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. <laughs> they uh they remove their their spells. Um, and s slowly the inquisitor brings chains around to everybody. Who's gonna <laughs> Who's gonna let this happen? I just need to make sure. I'll let it, yeah, it's fine. 
Yeah. I'm still half tempted to polymorph him into a snail, but <laughs> you know. Am I still I poisoned? Hoping she's forgotten. Uh, after you're in chains, they give you an antidote. Alright, I will take the poison off. You I'm gonna you go feel last, much and then <laughs> take down the wall of force after. Yeah. Ah. Oh wait, he's he's not restrained anymore. <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait, why is he restrained? <laughs> why, why are you in cuffs? Excellent. Okay. Who um, wants to feel included? The uh, the next steps in their plans to get you guys was actually kind of not so. <laughs> I feel like we were like I was like that. It just seemed like the only way. I was like we are fucked otherwise. Like it's okay. It we trust you. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna unsummon summon Molly for the uh, <laughs> the ease of this. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, try putting a muscle on the fire dock, I dare you. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And you can uh, think he was just like okay. sitting on the ceiling hoping she's forgotten. Okay, uh, so <laughs> gathers you all together. No, uh, the Inquisitor's gonna point to Tila and be like, is this oh, one coming down? <laughs> oh. Nope. Tila. Uh, <laughs> it, it's hard to hide from Devil's Sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tila. Tila climbs down the wall like a spider to try and gain favor. <laughs> he, I'm just he picturing is, this. He is quite impressed. He uh, puts on your manacles uh, looser than the rest of the group. <laughs> no to that. <laughs> um, I do and with that, I need to uh, copy all of you. Do I have a thing? I think I have a thing. Continue. I'm, I'm just talking yeah. to myself. Uh, so, as you guys are escorted, you are put under a magical blindness spell. Alright. So you don't know like the location these guys are taking you to, because it would be kind of nuts if they just gave away their base all the time. <laughs> See? Um, and we will... I'm we will probably leave it here for the moment. Um, okay. As I need to uh, populate this prison with all the prisoners you'll be able to see once uh, <laughs> once we get into it. I just wanted to give you a good... You guys are all thrown in the same cell together. Uh, you're hanging over like a forested cliff edge. Uh, a couple empty cells below you. And the Inquisitor and the guard out front. Uh, your gear has been uh, stripped uh, but you've seen them stored in a chest just outside. It's like now we are uh, now we're gonna figure out what you were doing down here in the first place <laughs> and we will leave it at that. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Drow are not very uh, kind to strangers but you're right that would have been a good choice. <laughs> Maybe it's almost like if you guys were more hospitable, people would like you more. Oh, do you want to go there? You want to be the first one in the chair? <laughs> just try me, see what I care. Okay, dokie, he's the first one. Bring. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but, ah! no, 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 we'll, we'll leave it there. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed. And the doors that are locked. Was, yeah, the door fun. is locked. Crap. Welcome to the prison. I got to use some of my new I abilities. Have... Yay. Because I haven't it's, used I my have new...